today we are going to learn the butterfly flex. But before we move on, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to the channel. The butterfly flex is another one of these movements that have been very popular on Instagram lately. So I wanted to teach it to you. I don't know who came up with it. I know it's very new and I have seen a lot of people doing it, but I don't know who's the person who created it. So if you know who did it, uh, please let me know here in the comment section. You should start with a good set of warm-ups first. And let's go to the pole. There are different ways to assemble this position, but the way I liked more, I felt more comfortable, is starting with the frog position. So, starting with the frog position, I hold my upper foot with the opposite hand. That makes it easier for me to slide my body, it makes me feel more confident in this grip because it's this kind of grip that it doesn't feel so safe for me all the time. I know some people feel very safe in this kind of grip, but for me it's a little bit scary. So that was the best way I found. So hold the foot with the opposite hand and then you can bring your body down, switch hands So in the end, you're holding the foot with the same hand. From there, you can slide your body to the front of the pole. It looks a lot more beautiful if you can slide all your hips to the front of the pole. Because there are two different ways and I'm going to show how they look, the two variations, but I think the most beautiful one is when you can fully slide your whole body to the front of the pole, but of course it's also a little bit more scary. Anyway, from there, you can bring your leg to you, take a deep breath, empty your lungs, and then you can bring your leg as close as possible to you 
until you reach the pole with your hand. That's the final shape and it's so beautiful. Now let's check how it looks when you don't pass your body entirely to the front of the pole. See the difference? It still looks nice, but in my opinion the first version is a lot more interesting. But again, it's more scary. If you don't have a friend to spot you, I highly recommend to have a friend to spot you until you realize that you're perfectly safe in this grip. But if you don't have a friend to spot you, what I usually do is to start very close to the ground. Again, if you sleep, if you're not perfectly confident on the grip, then you, at least you're gonna be very close to the ground, it's not gonna be so bad. The important place for you to apply the grip here is in the back of your knee, in the back of the knee that is holding the pole. So it's like here. It's even a little bit red because I tried it quite a few times. Anyway, that's the main grip spot in my opinion. So here. Also, if you're making this trick just to take a picture of it, it's very nice to see what's the best angle for it. Because sometimes it doesn't look so cool, like if you take it from the front, it's not gonna look as nice. So here in this video I'm trying to get the best angle that you can try to reach for a photo. Again, at least it's just my opinion, I think that looks nicer. So that's it for today guys, I like to do these videos, they are trendy movements on Instagram because I think there's a lot of people trying to do it and I, they can use a little help, maybe, maybe I can make your life easier, I don't know. Leave me a comment if you like it and give a thumbs up to this video, use the hashtags Julie Frota and Spritz Project and i see you next week, bye!